Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I thought um, for the second part of this that I would do my drugstore eyeshadows. And again, disclaimer, um, no one needs this much makeup. Um, I thought a long time ago that I was going to invest in my YouTube channel and kind of uh, that I was investing in my career and something bigger than me and that I was going to need and use all the time and honestly I, I made a mistake. I bought way too much makeup and honestly I, no one needs this much makeup but I now own all this makeup so it doesn't make sense for me to just throw it away or get rid of it. Um, I should use um, as much as I can of it or you know I do plan on doing another declutter soon. I decluttered some recently when I moved into my new house and um, so um, I just recently did that and I decluttered a bunch of palettes and now again I feel like I'm still overwhelmed and I should probably still get rid of some more. Okay so starting off um, I have a couple of these um, like Z palette. I got this from um, Ofra in a mystery box a long time ago. They're okay. I don't. I don't know or Ofra's formula. Their blush formula is really nice. Um, I haven't tried their eyeshadows even though I've had this for years at this point. Honestly, I don't even know what that's doing in there. That's Ofra's high end. I'm taking that out. Um, and then I have this um, Elf Magnificent. Oh, Modern Metal. <laughs> I was gonna say Magnificent Metals. And then also have this one. It's Mad for Mats 2. They had a Mad for Matte 1. I didn't like that one as much. Um, I did like this one. I just... I'm trying to open it for you guys. Um, I just don't um, reach for this formula. Even though it's not bad. I just... I can't see what this is. I don't know what this is. If you see it like this. You know. So I don't really reach for it. Um, so I don't know what it looks like. Um, I also have this... Rose Gold Sunset. I bought one of these for me and my best friend. Um, I don't know if she still uses this one or not. Uh, but it's really similar to that one. It's just more rosy pink tones. But it's a really nice um, color story. I really like this one. It really pulled me in. I just didn't use it too much. Um, I really loved this NYX palette. I used this one a bunch. I even hit pan on one of the shades. But this was early in my makeup career-ish. Um, like three or four years ago. Um, I, yeah, I hit pan. I don't know if you can see it on this, um, shimmer shade at the bottom. I really, really used this one. I really loved it. Um, got tons of use out of it. Um, it was a good one. It performed really well. Um, so I have more of a emotional connection to this one pre YouTube pre um, makeup obsession so and then also have this um, NYX lid lingerie these little nice mattes which I love palettes like this I feel like more brands should do palettes like this where it's sort of um, if I can get it open um, there we go you know, like bigger panned base shadows, like transition shadows, just a palette. If you're gonna do an all shimmer or something like that, that to me makes no sense. Do an all transition shade palette or something like this, or all, you know, like these two might be like a nice base and all of these nice transitions, like, or like outer V, you know, deepening shades. These are just, I love palettes, like these all matte shades for transition and bases and stuff. I, you can't go wrong with something like that, in my opinion. I also have this Away We Glow. Um, it looked better in pictures. I used it. Um, I just couldn't fall in love with it. Um, and then I have one of ColourPop's first palettes when they did the four, um, the four eyeshadow palettes. This was a Sonia Esmond collab. Let me open this one up. It's in its sleeve because I keep those for some weird reason. And yeah, these were like one of the first ColourPop 
palettes. Like, they really, um, really grew up from here, <laughs> if you ask me. Yeah, these, these look, um, these are ancient. Um, yeah, I'm glad that they changed it up a bit. But anyways, that was the, um, one of the OG ColourPop palettes. And then I have all these Milani Bold Obsessions and... You guys probably already know what these look like. Um, I like that they have the colors on the back because I don't want to open these. Most Loved Mattes, a matte palette. Um, yeah, if you're going to do a matte palette or a all one thing, do an all matte palette. Like, look at that. That's incredible. This is so versatile, and then you can just use any other palette for shimmers. That's, mmm. Love that. Okay, and then the Pure Passions was a good one, too. This one, honestly, I could get rid of. I hate it. I hate it so much. It's The colors were beautiful. The formula just sucks. It's different from these other gold ones, which I was quite disappointed about. Um, yeah, this one sucks. Um, this is the Going Coconuts. Um, you guys all know what that looks like, I'm sure. I'll just open it, I guess, just so you guys can see, but... Um, I'm sure you guys have seen this all over Instagram, all over, um, uh, everywhere. So, it's a nice, pretty, cool-toned, neutral palette. Um, Baby Got Peach. Uh, yeah, this is a really good dupe for the, um, Vizzy Art palette I was talking about in my last video. Um, my eyeshadow, my high-end eyeshadows. Um, if you like peach shades, I recommend this one over any Vizzy Art or other peach palettes. This is just... Super, super nice, great formula, nice colors, and the color story just looks beautiful on the eyes. I just love that one. And then I have the ColourPop Mar palette. Um, let me try and get this one open. Oh my goodness. I'm so terrible at this. Um, I don't wear blues. I don't know why I got this. I guess for the warm tones, which... It's way more warm tones than it is anything else, so yes, I can't be mad about that. Alright, and then I also got this Shayla and ColourPop collab. Um, this one, I don't know why I haven't gravitated towards it. It's so pretty. I just don't use yellows, but it's only one yellow. Maybe the oranges are a little too vibrant for me, or this red is really intimidating. I don't know. I just... I don't know why I don't gravitate for this one, but the colors are beautiful. I don't know. And then I have this Femme Rosa palette. Very cute, very pretty, pink, purpley. The uh, Becky G and ColourPop Soul I have a palette. Um, also very cute, very redsy. I don't use these three shades for the life of me, um, but everything else I do. The Element and Surprise. Um, Probably that pink. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just um, another pretty palette. They they make pretty nice neutral palettes. QAF. I think this is one of my first ColourPop palettes after this big bulky four pan one. Um, I think this was one of my first ever palettes. Um, and I liked it. Not my favorite. I don't hate it. I don't love it. It's just an okay palette. And then last uh, summer, I bought this um, California Love. I thought I was going to get more use out of this. And I think I just forget about it. You know what? I'm going to pull this one out and put it on my vanity. And see if I'll use it more. Because those colors just speak to me. Like, I should be using those all the time. And then this Sweet Talk palette. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's like if California Love and, you know, that peach palette... Baby Got Peach um, made a baby, and yeah, that's, that's exactly what it looks like, and I don't even use that one that much. This one was a ColourPop pre-curated palette, so it's singles, but they already sold them as a set, I believe, yeah. Look how basic that is. That is so me, though. Oh, wait, did I curate this one? I'm pretty sure this one came pre-curated. I think I just shuffled them. And the order I, I would like them to be in. Yep. Again, um, I hope you see a theme of the shadows that I like. Um, 
and the color stories I like. I'm a very basic bitch. Let's just be honest. And then I love this, um, I love Sadae and ColourPop collab. I mean, can you see this? I actually use this palette a lot and it doesn't look like it. I used the emeralds for uh, New Year's one year, for this last year actually. Um, and all these other peachy nude shades. Yeah, I actually love this, love this palette a lot. Um, underrated. And then I have this BH Desert Oasis. Super pretty. I like it so much. Um, I just, one of those palettes I forget about though. But very nice. I actually really love this one. And its formula is really, really good. So now we're going to talk about this middle row. Um, I have this Milani a mini palette. Um, formula was nice. They don't sell these anymore. So I don't want to talk too much about those. The OG Maybelline Nudes. These are... <laughs> One of the first palettes I ever had, like, before I got into makeup. And I used this one so much. I think I bought a new one after. Because I'm pretty sure I remember this one being, like, almost hitting pan on a lot of shades. I think I bought a new one. Funny story about these. These got stolen from um, my dorm room when I was in college. Yeah, along with these as well. Just because I had taken these two to college with me. And um, one of my roommates stole it. I got it back though. Um, I have this LA Girl Feverish palette. I'm not going to open it because it's still in its box because I'm dumb. I don't open shit, apparently. Excuse my language. Um... Shade Cat eyeshadows. These are different. They look similar, but they're different. This old Morphe palette. I used this one so much. I have a hard time parting away with this one. It's one of their very, very old, old, old shadow palettes. Um, I could have sworn. Okay, yeah. I used this one way too much. I don't know if you can... You can't see it, but... This whole palette was, um, I'm pretty sure, um, one of my first Morphe palettes. I have this uh, soft glam dupe from Makeup Revolution, an all matte palette, some colorful Makeup Revolution palettes, um, another matte palette. Are those the same? I'm gonna be so, so mad if they're the same. I think they might be. And they're the same. Okay, moving on. I'm keeping one, I'm gonna get rid of the other. I hate when I do that. Um, I hardly ever do, but when I do, I, I hate myself for it. Um, this Maker Revolution uh, Kat Von D Shade and Light do. Um, Illuminate by Ashley Teasdale and BH Cosmetics. This is super old. I don't really use this. I just keep it in a keepsake. I don't know what you call those. Just for memories. Um, this old Morphe palette. I honestly just don't want to get rid of this one. I don't think I'm ever going to use it anymore. It's too um, richly orangey peach. I just don't use stuff this bright. But I'm going to hold on to it for a little bit longer. I don't know what I'm doing. Whatever. This um, BH and Carly Bible. This was her second collab, I believe. Um, yeah. I really like that one. Um... BH Hanging in Hawaii. This is the most underrated BH palette in my opinion. It's so good. It is so, so good. I've hit pan. Oops. I've hit pan on this one. Like, I freaking love all of these shades though. Other than maybe that pink one, Paradise, and this one, Ohana. But everything else, I freaking love. I don't... I... Yeah. I love this palette. Love it. Um... Moving on, um, these Juvia Place ones, the Nubian, uh, your neutral brown shades, and then, um, the Saharan, appreciate how easy they are to open, so I have the plastic on that one, so it's kind of glaring a little bit, some neutral and some bright colors, and then, um, the Saharan 2, oh my gosh, 
some yeah some more neutrals some bright oh my god I'm so sorry <laughs> just being messy okay the warrior palette this is the first one and then I also bought the second one that's right behind it um look how beautiful that is the only intimidating thing about these like I love their formula they're super consistent and super pigmented super super pigmented so the only thing that's really intimidating of, about these are their pigmentation they're just super pigmented it's just really hard to go in with a light hand um you almost do too much every time like I said almost um but but yeah, they're, they're easy to work with in the aspect that you get the color and payoff that you want, but they're just too pigmented. Sometimes it's just, um, it's going to be some work when you use these. It doesn't mean it's a bad thing, it's just not my style. I like something that's a little more buildable. That's maybe not super pigmented at first, but takes a little bit to build. And then I have, I forgot what this one's called, um, the Nubian 2. Okay, so like the, the second one to the green one. And then you have these like neutrals with some pops of color. Very, very nice. Um, I don't know why I don't use these, but I should. These are, these are nice. I just forget about them. Honestly, I prefer packaging like these from Profusion. Where you can see the colors um, through the thing, through the glass. I have Gold Rush, and then I have the chocolates. I'm not gonna pull these out because you can kind of see them. And then the Sienna palette. Um, you can't really see that one, but and that's it for that row. And then we're gonna scooch over and we're gonna go ahead and do the last row real quick. I have all my elf bite size. I have two more. They're on my main desk. Um, I'm going to do a vanity. Um, what's in my vanity, I guess, uh, video. And I'll show you more of the other ones that I have. But those are the ones I use the least. And then I have a bunch of these Wet n Wild palettes. The um, Modern, Renaissance, Modern Renaissance dupe. The, um, this, this is a Halloween one. Um, coffin, coffin break, um, very nice browns. I don't know why they did a Halloween one like this. This is like, like a fall, summer, all year long palette. I don't know why they did that. Um, this is a nice soft glam dupe, mm, like a Lila palette dupe from Natasha Denona. Another Natasha Denona dupe. I don't remember which one this is. Like maybe the Tropics palette. And then this was just their OG uh, comfort zone. They had a, like a bigger palette with these colors and they just repackaged that one. This is, um, I'm not going to open these. Bad habit. You can't get these anymore anyways. This was a makeup by Mario and Kim KW, KKW um, collab. Dude. All these bad habit ones you can't get anymore. Uh, Beauty Creations. I think you can still get these. This was a Modern Renaissance dupe. Um, face candy. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't know if this is available or not. But I'll show you guys real quick. Very cute. Very pretty. Um, I don't know the formula though. I haven't used it. More Beauty Creations. Um, more bad habit. These were... Um, I want to say Natasha Denona dupes. Um, I don't know what dupe that is, but I think that is Natasha Denona. Um, but again, bad habit. They don't exist anymore. This was another Natasha Denona dupe. Oh no, this was, I'm sorry, the Huda Beauty nudes or After Dusk or whatever. Um, bad habit. I don't know why I'm showing you these. The, um, the classic nudes, I think, from Huda. But you can't get these anymore, so I really don't want to show them to you. But they are in my collection. Um, I find it very hard to spend money on the Huda Beauty palette. So I was really glad to get these as dupes. Um, they're not colors I've reached for a ton or ever, I don't think. But I'm like, the color story did speak to me. So I'm like, why don't I see if I just buy these affordable ones 
and I won't feel as bad if I don't use them. And guess what? I didn't use them. So I'm really glad I didn't buy the Huda Beauty ones because that would have been like $70 that I never used, you know. So it has nothing to do with the quality because I never tried these because the color schemes are just, they're not my color schemes. Um, it has nothing to do with the quality because I never tried it. So I can't tell you if they're good. But I've heard that the Bad Habit ones are actually really good. I just... The stories don't speak to me. These you can get. These are Natasha Denona dupes. Um, this is their... Oh, I can't remember what it's called. Yeah. If you guys know in the comments, let me know. But this is the Natasha Denona dupe. The name is escaping me, though. And then this is another Natasha Denona dupe. It's their... Um, I want to say, like, gold palette or star gold. Gold... I don't know. Um, the gold, I think it's gold palette. Um, I really love this one. I'm so glad I was able to find these, these alter ego. These are still available. You can still get these. Um, they're really nice dupes because I can't imagine spending $129 on one of those Natasha Denona palettes. And then this is another Natasha Denona dupe. Um, I think it's one of her OG, like, almost $150 palettes, I believe. Um... This color scheme doesn't really speak to me as much, but um, I bought it just because, um, you know, Natasha Denona. <laughs> Even though these aren't, like, legitimate Natasha Denona, but, I mean, um, I was hoping maybe the color stories would talk to me. Sort of like Huda, but they didn't, so. And then these were all the uh, Pat McGrath um, dupes. And, yeah, I never... Um, also, Bad Habit, I would show them all to you, but again, you can't get your hands on them, so I'm not going to. That would be really mean and awful for me to do to you guys, to show you guys items you guys can't get your hands on, even though I did it for a little bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, it was more of just, like, just opening up to you guys. But, um, so this is my uh, drugstore affordable collection. Um, wait, I forgot, actually, before I keep, <laughs> I was about to end that video. Um, I also have this drawer. Um, I forgot. So these are my larger Morphe palettes. Um, this is the Jaclyn Hill. I unfortunately got her newer non-vegan formula that they redid. It isn't good. Um, I don't recommend. I wish I would have tried the OG palette, but I took too long on this one and I waited a year. Um, I just personally don't support uh, Jaclyn Hill. It's a personal decision of mine. So, um, I bought this one like year later and it wasn't the original formula anymore they reformulated and it doesn't perform as well as the original one did um but it's all good all of these pull pink on me so i don't like it even the neutrals pull really pink um the so jaded by kathleen lights um honestly i probably am never going to use this palette i just bought it more of, to support kathleen um the uh, bronze one from Morphe. I actually love this one. It's just so big. I just don't reach for it because it's so huge. And then I have this um, 24G one. It's like two years old. I think it was like a Christmas special one. And then lastly, I have this Wet n Wild um, James Charles dupe. Um, I don't use colorful shadows like that, but I have it just in case um, one of my friends come over and they want me to do a look for them, um, I'll do that. I, do, I don't freelance, so um, I can't do that, but I do want to like help my friends if they ever want it and they want a certain look and we can play around with it. And then I have a lot of old Morphe palettes. I'm not going to open these. These are old. You can't get your hands on them anyways. The OG Kathleen Lights and Morphe collab years and years ago. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to open it. Ah! Okay, here we go. Look how beautiful that is. That is just so beautiful. So talented. So talented. More Morphe palettes. More Morphe palettes. Old. You can't get them. Um, the Iconic Blended Loose Pigment Palette. Um, these have little pans that are black and you can't even see what the shade's underneath it underneath or in it is so um there's no point in me trying to show you that um over here i have all my metallic glitters um my metallic toppers glitter toppers and jellies um yeah all types of glitters and single shadows i have this 
MAC Star Trek collab. Um, yeah, two of those shades. They're different though. My ColourPop singles. Oh my gosh, I'm so loud. A um, bunch of those. Um, more metallic toppers from e.l.f. and J.Cat. Makeup Revolution. And then I have uh, more glitter toppers. Stila, Cover Effects, Urban Decay. I don't know what this one is. Oh, Koki. Um, Milani. Um, yeah, just a lot of glitters and single eyeshadows. I really don't use these too much, but on the rare occasion that I do, I have them. Okay, so this was the second half of my um, affordable, affordable eyeshadow collection and glitters, I guess. I'm just throwing them in there since I don't really have that many. Um, so yeah, um, thanks. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like and subscribe to my videos. Um, let me know what you guys want to see next in the comments down below. And that's it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much. Um, see you guys later. Bye!